Hi, my name is Lorena Morales. Hi, my name is Alejandra de Leon. And we're going to be doing the auditory system. The auditory system is the only system that has no other function besides communication. Also, the auditory system is in charge of audition. And audition is the process associated with hearing and is an essential element of verbal communication. The auditory system consists of three parts, which is the, in, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. And for today's presentation, we did a visual presentation of the outer ear and the, and the inner ear. Inner ear. Okay, the outer ear. The outer ear, um, this is the article or pinna, which is also referred as an ear. Here we have the helix, which is a curl margin of the ear. Then we have the anti-helix, the scapoid fossa, triangular fossa. Then we have the cura of anti-helix and the cruz of helix. We have the tragus and the anti-tragus, the lobule and the concha cava. The concha cava is the entrance of the ear canal. And uh, this, the ear is composed of uh, cartilage that is called aortical cartilage. The lobule is the only part of the ear, of the outer ear, which has, it doesn't have uh, cartilage. The inner ear is composed of two structures, which is the cochlea and the vestibular system. The co this is the cochlear duct, and this is the the lateral semicircular canal, this is the, pos the anterior semicircular canal, and this is the posterior semicircular canal, which is this one right here. This is the, cha the cristicate with ampu ampulli ampullae, which is these, these like purple circles right here, and this one also. And we have the maculae, which is this one. We also have the vestibular ganglion, which is um, this part right here. And we also have the vestibular and cochlear divisions of the vestibular nerve, which are these two nerves at the end of the vestibular and the cochlear nerves. And we also have the, the oberts, and we also have Sacule. Sorry for my mispronunciation. Anatomy is hard. <laughs> and this is the inner ear. The inner ear, um, like I said before, is consists of two structures, which is the cochlea and the vestibular structure. Um, the cochlea ha is the sensory mechanism for hearing. And the vestibular is the motion detector for gravity and interior, which uh, maintains balance. Um, the inner ear houses the sensors for balance and hearing as well. And this is the inner ear. I'm going to do a close-up. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in a summary of how we hear, the... Uh, Sound waves enter the auditory canal and strike the tympanic membrane, and the tympanic membrane make vibrations to set the circular chain in vibration. The vibrations from the ossicular chain reach inner ear are through the oval window. And then there's fluid, and the fluid movement causes the hair cells to move, sending neural impulses to the auditory cor cortex via, via the auditory nerve. And that is how we hear. So these are the two models of the outer ear and the inner ear. And as a reference, uh, we use our book, Anatomy and Physiology for Speech, Language, and Hearing. The authors are Sickle, King, and Dump Drumwright. The pages are 449 and 463, figure 9, 7, figure B. Thank you.